So all we're given is that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So by definition of a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. And following their proof, they want us to draw BD first. So they could have had us draw the other diagonal, so it's good we looked. And then we got to figure out, they say this is reflexive. And then so what did they do next? So looking at our options in number two, there's only one that makes any sense. If you look at the top one, that angles are congruent is not the definition of a parallelogram, right? The definition of a parallelogram was what we said, that opposite sides are parallel. So that's out. Uh, and then down here, for the third step, uh, we're not ready to prove that the triangles are congruent. Side, 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 and side, angle, side are ways to prove that triangles are congruent, and we're not ready for that. That's going to be in the last step. So by elimination, it's got to be this guy, and this guy does make sense. They're saying that um, this angle is congruent to that angle because um, those are alternate interior angles, and if the lines are parallel, we know that the alternate interior angles are congruent. Uh, they also do the same thing with this one. Uh, this angle is congruent to that angle because they are alternate interior angles of those parallel lines cut by the transversal, so they are congruent. So this is looking good for B, and then if we um, look for number three, uh, side, angle, side, angle, angle, side. So it looks like we've got um, two, two angles and a side, and what order are they in? So we've got the angle and then the side, is, and then the angle. So it's angle, side, angle in that order. We are looking at that one. Now, the multiple choice is easy enough. We can definitely get their answers. But just a couple notes. Like, I don't know if it's incomplete. Usually when they say incomplete, it's just because they're missing these lines, right? But this is incomplete in many ways. Like, this is not a full proof. They, they never stated they're given. They're missing a couple lines, right? They never had a, a, a step for the given. And they're also missing, you can't just jump uh, in step number three to their answer because they say if two lines are parallel, then alternate interior sides are congruent. But never did they have a step that stated that the lines were parallel by the definition of a parallelogram. So they should have had a step, um, perhaps, you know, they should have had a step that said the given that it was a parallelogram, and then they should have had a step that said um, that a D is parallel to BC, and that a B is parallel to DC, and that's your definition of parallelogram. And then they can say what they wanted to say here, that because the lines are parallel and cut by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. So you can't use this unless you state that. That's the whole point of a proof. It's a little annoying that they didn't write it first, but that's okay. We can still solve. It's okay. Perhaps they'll be forgiving on the proofs in the constructed response if they give examples like this. I don't know. Okay.